There are certain keys to remember to properly assemble your wedding invitation suite. And the first of those keys is... video we are going to discuss or I am going to discuss and you're going to listen <laughs> because if you were talking to me which I usually do talk to the television um, I can't answer but hey just add a comment to that little comment box and shoot it send and I can get back with you so we can have a discussion but on this video it's just gonna be me talking so on this video, what I'm going to be discussing is the topic of... To get right into it, here we have a lovely traditional wedding invitation suite with our invitation card, our reply set, and our reception card. Now, there are certain keys to remember to properly assemble your wedding invitation suite. And the first of those keys is that the most important card in the suite is actually the reply card. Because this is the card we want our guests to remember to return. The reception card is less important. And we begin by laying it on the invitation first, face up. Next, we have our reply set. We start with our reply envelope. You can see here the bruising from the engraving plate that we engraved this invitation with. We place our card over the back of the open envelope, close the flap, and we lay this set over our reception card. And now we're ready to insert our cards into the envelopes. We have a formal set of outer and inner envelopes. So our cards will be inserted first into our inner envelope. And on your inner envelope, you would have listed who particularly is invited to the wedding. Your individual invited guests would be listed here. We turn our inner envelope over and this is where our lovely envelope lining goes on your inner envelope. Your cards are then inserted into your envelope facing toward you right side up and you close your flap. And here is another key for assembling wedding invitations. When inserting your inner envelopes, your envelopes should be inserted flap to flap. So in other words, it doesn't get inserted this way. It's to be inserted this way, where as your guest is opening up their invitation, front and center is who is specifically invited. So again, it's flap to flap or from a different perspective, flap to flap. And this is the proper way to assemble an invitation with double envelopes. For this lovely invitation suite with single envelope and reply set, we begin assembly by placing our reply card on the back of the reply envelope and underneath the flap. Our reply set is then placed over our invitation. And as this is a horizontal card, we lay it over the invitation horizontally. And again, we place it into our envelope as you would read it facing toward us. With invitations embellished with ribbons, take care that the ribbon is lying flat as you insert it into the envelope. And here is your invitation suite with reply card inserted into a single envelope. When assembling an invitation with a vertical reply set, the procedure is much the same, except that the flap of the reply envelope will go over the left side of the card. The reply set is again placed on top of the invitation and the suite is inserted into the envelope. And now this mailing envelope is lined because it's a single envelope. And just a reminder that you'll want to address your envelopes before you assemble them. Here we have a suite with an invitation and three insert cards. Again, your reply is your most important card. So our set 
assembled as such, will always go on top of the other additional cards. So we'll set that aside here. If all cards were of equal size, the card that would go nearest to the invitation would be your reception card. However, here we have a map and a small website card. In this situation, our cards are assembled by size, largest, nearest invitation, with our website card over our map. And again, because the reply is our most important card, this suite would be assembled with these cards over the invitation and the reply set over the additional insert cards. And once again, the suite of cards is inserted into the envelope facing you. And now, to reiterate the importance of the reply card, in a situation where we have a wedding invitation suite, such as this one, where we have an additional card that is much smaller than our reply card, the key or the rule of sizes, that is that you place the smaller cards over the larger cards, would be superseded by the key or the rule of the importance of the reply card. Our invitation suite will still be assembled this way with our reply set being the first thing that the guest sees, as it is the most important card for our guests to return to us. So what to do with the smaller card? It would actually be placed over your wedding invitation and your reply set would be placed over or on top of it. And this is how this suite with a smaller card than our reply card would be assembled. Those are some tips and of course any questions you might have just you know, pop, pop that little thing into that comments box and shoot it off. So until then, have an absolutely fabulous day. Bye-bye.